at very least, the head of the Secret Service, and I would suggest the head of Homeland Security, and everyone up and down the line to include the person in charge of the local security there at that event should be right. fired or at least placed in the administrative leave, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Trump has on, on Biden is he never fires anybody. And instead, Biden is thanking the Secret Service, thanking the FBI for getting on us and doing a swift and uh, a thorough investigation. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> Chris, let me see that picture again that you just had up there, the still. Maybe my criticism of her was too harsh. She may be supporting the former president's body. Look, you can see one, two, three, four agents trying to uh, get him off the stage. He wants to show the public there and the world that though he's bloodied, uh, he's uh, he's still alive. So maybe my criticism of her uh, well, was not warranted. Larry? Well, no, it's not unfounded. Look, the pro the problem is, uh, the, even in this photo, it's a, it's an iconic moment. It's going to live in history, like uh, right up there with the Marines raising the flag on Iwo Jima, that kind of thing. Right. But the Secret Service screwed up there. They that that was they, there should not you should not have been able to see Donald Trump. They were so right. their job is to get him off the stage without anybody then being able to see. Because how do you know there wasn't another shooter? If there right. had been another shooter, then they've got a direct target right at Trump. And so th th this was now I think the, the female agent there, she was going down to recover a hat or something of Trump's that had fallen to the ground. But again, you know, this is the, the current director of the Secret Service put an emphasis upon having a lot more women involved. And if you watch some of the women who are out there, A, they're too short and their muzzle discipline, their firearms discipline, how they were handling their handguns. Good God, they were pointing it at people. And I'm, and it's okay to point it at somebody if you think they're a threat, but yeah. just having it carelessly in your hand and moving it around and not controlling that muzzle, you know, you know again, that's just sloppiness on their part.